and welcome back to the hot lap. Bit of sad news here, pre-season news. Jade Edwards is not going to be on the BTC grid in 2024. Now, selfishly, for me, that's really sad because this is the first time that my daughter is going to watch the BTCC at Brands Hatch. And the fact that she loves racing it in, on Gran Turismo, for example, and the fact that there is no Jade there, it's going to be like some massive bummer because, well, yeah, I mean... What a role model to look up to, going to Brown's Hatch, and it's it's really really sad, and it somewhat irked me the fact that um so the sponsors, I don't know I don't know if I should be cross, but the the sponsors weren't there for her in a place where I think she really really deserved it. So if we look on Facebook, this is her um let's can uh, zoom in quickly. This is her uh, this is her. Uh, what she said btcc 2024 as i'm sure most of you are aware i've been working very hard behind the scenes to try and secure a seat for the coming season with online support loyal sponsors and the 10 for 10 initiative i'll have a look at that in a bit i gained good budget and edged closer to the target sadly although i had a good amount of money it wasn't just quite close enough to secure a seat which unfortunately means i won't be lining up for the btcc grid this year i'm completely heartbroken and hugely disappointed that i have failed in my ability to always bring a season together all uh, all be it last minute at times and this season will be the first since 2017 that i haven't made the grid on the tocker package it's heartbreaking isn't it i've loved my time in the championship and although i've not achieved what i wished i could i'm proud i even made it there in the first place absolutely damn straight jade now think what you want of my own track results but as a driver who comes from no financial background raising that level of funding each year is no easy task no it's not now finally from the bottom of my heart a huge thank you to all my sponsors to my support supportive team sponsors the crazy fan base and all my hashtag 99 car crew without you it would never have been a reality who knows what the future holds but now it's for a cheers it's a cheers for all the best. Cheers, all the best from JE99. I mean, yeah, that's massive, massively, massively sad. It reported also in Touring Car Times. She confirmed that she will not contest the championship despite the entry list being published at season launch. Edwards had been working behind the scenes. It said, Edwards, as we know, if you didn't, made a debut in the BTCC in 2024, one-off event at Silverstone before contesting the 21 and 22 campaigns with BTC Racing. Last year, she contested the first half of the season with Team Hard before making a mid-season switch, it says here, to one motorsport, where she came close to scoring points on a handful of occasions. Now, and we've obviously read her statement, which is really sad. Um, I mean, this is the one thing that really frustrates me in, in motorsport. And it doesn't happen in too many sports. For example... Formula One being being one of the one of the big ones. If you've got money, you can get in there. So money comes above talent to a certain uh, Lance Stroll. Sorry, um, money comes comes above talent to a certain respect. Now that's almost akin to me having lots of lots of money. For for the record, I don't. Uh, going up to Arsenal and going, yeah, here's ten million pounds. Can I play in your game? I mean, I'm pretty sure they'll laugh. They'll, they'll laugh at me. Um, and let's be fair, I probably wouldn't make even five minutes. Uh, but yeah, and it, and it it's just really really sad. I mean, you've got this talented talented girl here, who I think has pulled off some super moves as well. And um, when the with when the TV catches it, is really really good with 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 the with the media. Um, you know, a massive thumbs up for marketing and for for whatever reason, uh, it it just it just didn't happen. And I'm sure it's absolutely not not her fault, which is kind of sad i just hope that she's back in the btcc next year fingers crossed i mean we did a, a story about her interview at the beginning of the year um and she said she was um talking about getting getting some sponsors but that didn't happen this is the 10 for 10 um uh we had another place filled last night this was on march the 13th um 10 companies 10 race weekends ten thousand pounds is a weekend pass hospitality live coverage on itv national media coverage social media content Race car branding, race gear branding, garage tours, meet and greet sessions, Q and A sessions, top level exposure for one thousand pound a week. It's not, I mean, okay, yeah, I, I don't earn ten thousand, you know, that much money, but it, it's not even a, a massive, massive amount. It's just really super sad. And as she said, someone that does not come from a financial background like a like a lot of people do, which is really, really sad. Um, 
fingers crossed, uh, for Jade Edwards going into the 2025 season and beyond. Or oh, and let's hope. I mean, maybe I don't know. I'm. I have no connection to her, but maybe like maybe possibly some like GT racing. Maybe she can maybe she can halfway through the year get get in to one of the, the support series, which is really entertaining. I know my daughter is gonna be is gonna be bummed out knowing you know no knowing, knowing that, which kind of which kind of sucks. Um, anyway, I'm just rambling now, but really really sucks. It's not good. Let's hope Jade Edwards is back for next year. If you made it to the end, please give a like and subscribe. That would be absolutely amazing. We are looking at the BTCC next week. We'll have our season preview, our Donington preview. And uh, yeah, um, and fingers crossed for Jade. Thank you very much. Speak to you soon.